What's going on guys, Dom here, and it seems we have a Reddit post from a user that says that it's not impossible for the national decks to be in. Now, at the preface that someone said, uh, the, the user's name was ArtistX100, it, they said that it is impossible for them to have the national decks because of how many Pokemon they're in. And this guy apparently went in here and he debunked some of those things um, in this post, so we're going to go over that and we're going to see why it is possible for the national decks to occur. So to clarify, as some seem confused, Game Freak themselves never claim this is an issue. So, people, I have someone even mentioned it in, in my last video that Game Freak said that uh, the issue was size, and it seems like this guy is saying that it's not. So I, I need to do some digging and see if they actually said it or not, because people are just saying that Game Freak is the one passing that off. So that may not actually be true. So let's see. Let's take Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I'm, this is where it starts. Everything else is just a uh, preface that I've kind of already gone over. Um, let's take a look at Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire in, in particular. They had 721 Pokemon total with 48 Mega Evolutions. By the previous poster's estimation of 5 megabytes per Pokemon, that will be 3.8 gigabytes total for just the Pokemon, with the max 3DS cart size at 8 gigabytes. They'd be roughly half, I'm assuming it's supposed to be half, the cart taken up by just Pokemon. Sounds pretty bad, right? But this is not the case. I, this person dumped Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire straight from actual the actual cart, and the size of the game is 1.7 gigabytes, much lower than the estimate from the previous poster. So let's take a look at the actual Pokemon models and, and textures. There's actually a comprehensive data dump of all models and textures from X and Y to Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee that can be found out there. So there's a screenshot there, you guys can check that out. Let's look at Omega Ruby Ab Alpha Sapphire first. The total size of the model textures folders for the Pokemon is 348 megabytes. That is about 434 kilobytes per Pokemon. That is roughly the tenth, a tenth of the previous posters artist X100's estimate. So it seems like th this guy has been the previous poster has been all over the place about his um his estimate. He's been uh, inflating it more than it's supposed to be. And it's I look at the post. You guys can check it out for sure. It's hard to contest what this artist X100 said because he posted some super detailed models, something that you would like. You'd have to know some kind of extreme, no, not really extreme, but some um, degree of knowledge of how all this stuff works. And it's super convincing. And when people see that someone posts something that it's super detailed with all these numbers and these structures and all these amazing um, sources. They tend to just say, they, they take what this person says is at, at face value, and it seems this guy is not one of those people. He has the knowledge to back it up, and this is what this post essentially, essentially is, which I love that there is someone to, to contest some of these things in, in the community. Now let's look at Pikabi. This folder has the models and textures in the same folder with a total of 127.1 megabytes. Pikabi had 153 Pokemon in it, as well as Kanto, Ken, Alolan variants, and Mega Evolutions. This comes out to about 831 kilobytes per Pokemon. That is one twentieth of the 15 megabytes that was estimated. So th this guy is really like, he's really going in on this whole, this other guy was wrong. It was an awesome effort, but it was definitely wrong. Now let's consider Sword and Shield. Let's say they are increasing the fidelity a tad. I'll be generous and say 1.5 megabytes per Pokemon, twice the size per Pokemon of Pika V. I'm genuinely not sure if they've announced how many new Pokemon they've added in Sword and Shield, but let's say 86, just like Sun and Moon. With the current 812 plus 86 making 878 Pokemon, 1.5 times 898 equals 1.3 gigabytes. That can easily fit on one Switch cart with room to spare. Because I believe he said he mentioned earlier that the uh, the Switch cart um, is, I think the max is like 8 gigabytes or something around that. Uh, so now I want to go into parts of their post about crunch and concerns over the developers themselves as I largely agree with these with those concerns but I wanted to make sure that the actual facts are put out there as fans of course we are going to disagree but let's make sure we don't actively use false information to try and prove our points and this is extremely important because this whole that thing I mentioned earlier people throwing around that Game Freak said this Game Freak said that they can't add all the Pokemon because of the uh, constraints to the the size or the the space they have um 
that apparently it's not true from what this guy's saying. I'm not saying that because I don't know. I'm not. I don't, have, I don't have a degree in computer science. I'm not that savvy with all this stuff, which is why this I look to other people um, who are a lot, a lot more knowledgeable. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you're ignorant in a certain subject. If you ask me about aerospace engineering, I'm an, I'm ignorant to aerospace engineering. But if you ask me about Pokemon, I do have a decent amount of knowledge in Pokemon to actually give you an answer. Usually, what you're asking me for. So. Where were we at? Uh, edit. One thing I'd love to add here as only somewhat related, but it's being brought up in comments. What is interesting is that Iwata created that allowed Game Freak to include the entirety of Kanto and Gold and Silver was actually a graphics compression program. Now, that I believe was mentioned multiple um, times in the past that towards the end of Gold and Silver's uh, de development, they were trying to fit Kanto in it and they couldn't. And then he came in and it was more of a compression system. Um, a compression program that allowed them to fit the all of Kanto on the in gold and silver which is what was one of the most amazing parts to think um think back on thinking back to those games and they even he even puts a blurb here about how um it was just something amazing and then at the bottom he puts a rest in peace Iwata you are missed and that is um that is true here it's I'm, I'm not exactly sure on all of his involvement because I didn't follow it too much but I do know um at minimum that he was a pivotal part of uh, making Pokemon what it is now and he definitely um, is being missed now in these trying times for Game Freak Nintendo and everyone involved in this I think we actually will go over that other guys um, estimation so we're gonna jump right over to that alright guys so here we have the post from the original guy artist x100 he says hello I've seen a lot of protests in the Pokemon community a lot of people being unreasonable about Pokemon Sword and Shield not having all the Pokemon or the games, never having your national decks again, or at least in this console generation, will come to that. So as a game artist, he says he's a game artist, and it's funny because this actually says de debunked already. Uh, I wanted to explain why it's impossible for Game Freak to make a game with 800 plus Pokemon in the HD era. I'll be explaining that analyzing actual models ripped from games using professional software like Maya and Photoshop. So let's start. Model analysis. See, this is what I'm talking about. This this guy actually put a lot of information in, so it was hard for anyone who didn't have the, the same the same level of knowledge as he does to actually debunk him. So no one um no one contested it. It was just they, they ran with it, and this is, people were using this as a source to explain why it can't happen. So as I said, these models are ripped from X and Y. So it looks like this is all pretty legit stuff. He has everything here. Things that I don't even understand. I do understand it to, to some degree, but I'm pretty sure we're going to find something that I don't understand in here. So as you can see, the folder is 6.9 megabytes. This includes all models, textures, mega evolution models and animations, shiny sprites, everything. So let's look at the, the model first. See, this is something that I know I wouldn't be able to get my hands on um, without someone else assisting me with it. Mewtwo model X and Y. Um, so over 6,000 faces, not really high poly, but pretty recent, decent for a 3DS game, which explains the performance issues the games had on 3DS when multiple Pokemon were on screen. So there's, um, over, over 6,000 faces is what he's saying. It's, that's, that's crazy. That is a lot. Um, I'm not sure I paid much attention to how much their faces change when things occur. Look, let, then he posts the actual textures and this is just a, a huge ginormous just parts of Mewtwo just everywhere in in there it's this is the Mewtwo color map which defines the color of the texture as you can see it's pretty low resolution only being at 512 by 256 this wouldn't hold up at all in a switch game the texture has to be 1024 by 1024 or at least the resolution has to be considered high definition looking at other files obviously they're obviously different from Pokemon from, from Pokemon to Pokemon type Lotion, Bayleaf, Squirtle of course they have different um sizes because Squirtle would, is smaller and looking at it right now Squirtle is uh, 3.9 megabytes as opposed to Typhlosion and Bayleaf. Bayleaf has 5.5 megabytes and it's just a lot more files depending on the Pokemon size clearly. So let's say an average Pokemon needs around 5 megabytes of space for X and Y since Mewtwo was only that big because of the 2 megas 16 divided by 3 5.3 for one form only. This is a low resolution game. Keep in mind, it will be important five megabyte average. So this is this part has already been debunked. And he shows models of Pikachu from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Pikachu has, I assume Pikachu would have more faces, but this this is strange here. I'm looking at it right now. As you can see, Pikachu already has more faces than the 3DS Mewtwo. 7,000 plus, which is impressive considering, impressive considering Mewtwo is a much smaller Pokemon, being maybe a third of the size of Mewtwo. He said, how many, how many faces did he say? He said Mewtwo had... 6,000 faces? This is the Pikachu. This this is kind of like a flag here. Um, Mewtwo has 6,000 faces, but Pikachu from 
that had a lot more going on in Pika V with all the um, the face. You can pet him. You can change his, his hair and stuff. Um, his emotions change. He only has a thousand more when Mewtwo. Um, that's that's strange to me. I figured it was something. If if this was actually true, which from what that other guy saying this is not true, I figured this would be a lot higher. This would be somewhere around like twelve thousand faces. If going going from what this guy is saying, but a thousand faces uh, more, I was expecting a lot to be honest with you. Let's see, I found was a partner Pokemon. That's why I used it. So this is the partner Pikachu. So the peak the partner Pikachu. Wouldn't you think he would be more than Mewtwo when Mewtwo doesn't have all that it doesn't have all those, those animations? 16.1 megabytes. So the Pikachu size folder from Switch is almost the same as Mewtwo, 16 megabytes. But remember, Mewtwo has three Pokemon actually because of the megas. I guess that is a fair point. And then Pikachu's color map. Pikachu doesn't really change that much. Three times the size. I'm not gonna go through all this. I'm just gonna browse this. But this is a very convincing argument, and this is something that people. Normal people like me wouldn't have been able to contest with all this. This would just take way too much time. But the whole point of this is saying that it is not possible. He's saying it's not possible, but then from the other guy saying it's possible, and this has been debunked. Um, it's been ruled as debunked on, on, on Reddit. It's just really interesting to see these different points of views and how it works out. I'm not sure who's using which which program and how all that works. But it's, I think it's pretty cool that we have people who um, will, will, will go through all the trouble to do this. Not saying that um, someone went through this and and they just did it just to be like rude or or to spark some type of debate that they were they wanted it to end in some turmoil but it's extremely interesting guys for sure i would check these out give it a brush through um the super detail both of them um but the the part the one where it's like it's it's possible is what i'm interested in that's the one that i'm extremely interested in and the the, the part where it said that game freak never said that they couldn't do it because of size constraints. That's what, what's interested in, um, what's got me interested. So I think I'll try to do some digging and see exactly if that's true or not, if they made those statements. But I think that'll do it for this video. Dom, 